Did you get your squirrel? Huh? <laughs> Twice now. They've gone busting out the door. They go to that fence over there and they jump up on the fence and I didn't see what they were seeing until I saw a little squirrel scurry up right there and I was like, oh. So I guess the squirrel keeps coming down because I've done it twice now. But then I was like, how is he even seeing it? Because Isaiah is over here on the couch. He lays like right here. Oh yeah, he can see out the window over there. <laughs> Well, you can't see it over here, but yeah, he totally can see out the window, so he sees the squirrel from way over there. And he freaks out and he runs over there to get the squirrel. You're silly. You're a silly boy. You hate those squirrels. Hate those squirrels. I don't think he would know what he would do if he ever caught a squirrel, but he hates them. So this is the coffee that I roasted yesterday. Let me go refresh your memory. Um... This is the coffee that I roasted yesterday. It is significantly darker than the other one, and I know I don't have the other one to compare, but actually, oh, okay, this is actually perfect. See the darker, this is significantly darker than this. This is the batch that I did right before here. This was the big batch that I did, and then this was the smaller batch that I did. This one is significantly darker, and it tastes just like cowboy coffee. And then this one is uh, browner. So I'm going to have to stop um, making such big batches like this because the black is fine. I will drink the black, but I really like this brown. It's, uh, this uh, medium roast is a lot better. All right, so a few days ago, um, I looked through this stainless steel uh, survival kit by Rothko, and I found this little saw. Um, I actually didn't even know this was in here, but I've been wanting a saw. I've never tried a saw before. So I'm going to try this saw. So, let me go ahead and stop it. So, I'm going to try on the thickest part over here. This branch fell, so I'm going to try to just get down with my foot here. Just try to get it where you can actually see, maybe. Oh. It's supposed to. It's supposed to get stuck? Well, it's getting stuck because you just need to pull it hard. Ah! I don't... It doesn't seem right. <sighs> Alright, husband's going to try it now because he says I'm not pulling hard enough. I think it's just getting stuck. See? Ow. Weird, right? Okay. So that worked a little right there. Still getting stuck. Like no matter what technique. <laughs> mm -mm. This isn't gonna happen. I don't. It's not the thickness of the tree. It's the saw. <sighs> so I've never used this, uh, hand saw, and I do want to know if this is pretty standard for some. I've seen some hand saws. I mean, just work really well. So um, if you do have a hand saw that works really well, please let me know. But let's see if we can get back in the one of the grooves. Ah, oh, you know what? I don't think it's because I'm a weakling. <laughs> Not even my husband could do it, and he's pretty strong, much stronger than I am. So. I don't know what brand this is, but the saw that comes in the little Rothko survival kit is not so great. So I'm pretty disappointed. There is one saw on Amazon that I'm thinking about getting that looks pretty hardcore, but um, 
It didn't break. That's good, but I'm pretty disappointed with it. If anybody has a recommendation for a saw, um, let me know. One of the best parts of being a prepper is being able to try out all the new gear and being able to just try stuff out and see if it works and, and learn a new skill while you're trying that stuff out. I think that's one of the best parts for me and I'm definitely a gear whore, like I love gear. So, and then I especially love testing it out and seeing if it's actually gonna help me in an emergency disaster. But, um, oh, I just got a rush from what I just did, that experiment. <laughs> it will be up soon, so watch out for it. Just broke out my mountain bike. Uh, the tires were flat, but uh, filled those out and I just went on a four mile bike ride. Just up and down our neighborhood, found a nice little park that I did a, also another video about uh, lugging out, finding stuff in your local neighborhood, stuff like that, but man. I will take mountain biking over running or jogging any day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now that it's getting warmer and nicer, I'm gonna be trying to ride my bike more often than um, instead of running or jogging. But unless I'm running or jogging with somebody else, it's kind of boring to me, but <clears throat> I love riding my bike. So I'm probably gonna do that. But uh, beautiful day, just beautiful day. Finishing off this beautiful day, beautiful evening with some barbecue chicken. And I'll see you tomorrow.